Hello YouTube, me again. Um, so I was gonna do maybe just like a quick update. There's still another video I would like to do. It could come before or after the baby, honestly. So I just wanted to do an update. So today I'm 39 and five, um, which means that I am three days from my induction two and a half, however you want to look at it. For my induction, I am doing all the things. I'm not doing all the things as well as I should be doing them, I don't think, um, but I am doing all the things. And the reason I'm not doing them as well as I should is quite frankly, I have a toddler. Um, and, and I have to say, it, it's a little overwhelming, especially in terms of eating things. You know, my pregnancy food has been, it's been hard. So, um, just for an example, I just wanted to, to do the update. So I'll tell like what I've been experiencing the last few days and what I've been doing, because I don't remember what I included in on my last video exactly. Um, I don't think I had really started doing much of anything yet. So, um, how I'm feeling, well, I will say in the last two days, because I can't remember when my last update video was, um, but in the last two days, it has really shifted. Um, yesterday, I had energy. Today, I've had no energy, and some of that could be that my daughter has nightmares pretty badly, and I was up a lot last night. Um, but I, you know, yesterday, I had energy. Yesterday, I went to the grocery store with my daughter, by myself, you know, and I, I don't know if I've talked about that much on here or not, but I, I have not been going like anywhere literally since probably week 36 or 37, um, just out of pure fear of going into labor, um, especially like in the last two weeks since these contractions started. Um, it's, it's especially been in the last two weeks. I've just really not been anywhere. I've really not been anywhere by myself. Um, but yesterday I just was like, we're, we're just going to go, we're just going to go, um, to the grocery store. And so my daughter and I went to Aldi's and my grandma was very, very worried about me because her fear was I would go into labor in the middle of Aldi's. But I had kind of reached this point where I was like, I felt like going. I have thought this baby was going to come probably 20 times already, and she hasn't. Um, and Aldi is not that far from my house. Um, and basically yesterday, whenever I went to the store, what I knew was, even though my mom was at work, you know, towns over, but I was like, I have my people. My grandma at bare minimum, and I'm not saying bare minimum, she's, she's wonderful and lovely. It's just, I would probably need some, some muscles to come get me. <laughs> um, but my grandma at minimum, she lives right down the road from me. And again, I don't live that far from Aldi. Like I'm within probably five to six minutes from Aldi. Seven tops. I mean, it's, it's under 10 for sure. And my grandma lives down the road from me closer to Aldi than I do. Um, you know, I don't really exactly remember what time I went, but you know, my dad, my dad is down the road closer to Aldi, but f you know, like my mom and dad's road is between me and my grandma. Um, my father-in-law was here yesterday and he lives on this road. I mean, everybody's really centrally located. My husband was at a friend's house helping him do something. Again, further, would it be further away? Yeah, but not very far. He was literally in town also, like kind of on the outskirts of town like we are, just kind of like boop over that way, you know? And so everybody was close and I was like, I'm just gonna go. And if I'm in there and my water breaks or I start having powerful contractions, I will make a, like, I will not make a scene. I will uh, make my way to go to one of the, all the employees. I shop there enough that 
I don't say I know them, but at least it's a familiarity and I would just discreetly give them my cart and I, my daughter and I would have gone to the car and I would have been calling. I would have been calling someone to come get me. And, and that was my plan the whole time. I will say I was out of energy after Aldi. My daughter needed some quiet time. So like I had other running that I would have liked to have gotten done. We just came home so I could rest and put things away and stuff. And so like, I wasn't gonna push myself, but at the same time I did go. I did have some energy. Today I have had zero energy at all. Um, and then I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you like what I've been doing and then I'll come back into the symptoms because I think, I think that that is, I think that's the flow. So I've known for quite a while about, you know, dates and pineapple. I did not know about papaya. I now know about papaya. I still haven't gotten any papaya yet. Um, all these doesn't carry papaya. <laughs> and so, but I knew about dates and I knew about pineapple um, like a week ago, my husband's cousin, who is a chiropractor, I talked about this in the last video, sent me an article on acupressure points. Um, I hadn't started doing that. I, I seriously like waited till my daughter, until her birthday was over. And then I started doing that, um, essential oil. I think I mentioned that. And so like, basically I, that this is all what I've started doing. The labor ball, so much more. Um, the acupressure points, the oil, um, pumping, which I haven't done today or yesterday, I don't think. Um, and then I got the dates and the pineapple, um, and also red raspberry leaf tea, which I have been drinking red raspberry leaf tea since probably 36, 37 weeks. But I just made myself like a nice little mug of it and I would drink it and I've talked about that in these videos make myself a glass of tea or a cup mug of tea or whatever and I even put coffee creamer in there and it was very very good um I talked to my friend and she said no I was reading this article she said I'm going to send you a couple of recipes and one of them was a smoothie for um it's like pineapple date coconut smoothie whatever um, and she said, you absolutely need to use the pineapple core. I was unaware of that. I did not know about the pineapple core situation. And, um, then as far as the red raspberry tea, red raspberry leaf tea or whatever they call it. I, to me, I'm like, it's, it's raspberry, it's just raspberry tea. Um, but it's not flavored tea. It is literally the leaf. So maybe that's what it is. Um, she sent me a recipe for this. And it is 20 tea bags, 20 tea bags in 20 ounces. And you're supposed to steep it for a half an hour. I have not steeped it for a half an hour just because I, like I said, a lot of the stuff I do at night. So, because I have a toddler and stuff like that, I just don't have time. And so it hasn't fully steeped for a half an hour, I don't think, but I'm telling you what, that stuff will grow hair on your chest. It is so nasty. It tastes like puppy breath smells. I'm not going to hold back anything. The first the first night, I drank it plain. The second night, I put two heaping tablespoons of honey in there. It was just rough. Okay, but so I'm just letting you know that ahead of time if you follow anything like this. Um, that was very, very rough. And here is where I get overwhelmed and like all these different things. And we know I've been struggling with food in this pregnancy, like no matter what. But when you put it all together, and that's what I was doing, and that's what I am doing, I guess, my stomach feels like I, you know, I feel like I've eaten an entire cake because of all like the fruit that you're ingesting. And then I had that tea and I had the honey with it and it just, I don't know. Like for somebody who has craved sweets in this pregnancy, it's just not it. It's it's just so much. Um, it's very unpleasant, very uncomfortable. It's just, it's, you're already uncomfortable with pregnancy and then you add that to it. And it's just, I mean, it's really, it's really rough. I'm not going to lie, or at least for me in this pregnancy, it just feels like a lot. Um, so the first night, which was night before last, I did the 20 tea bags. Um, 
and I didn't do any dates or pineapple. I, well, that's a lie. I ate some pineapple, but that was it. Um, and then today, no, that was day before yesterday. Yesterday was when I went to Aldi and I got the dates and pineapple. That's what it was. And so then last night I made sure I, I, that was when I had some pineapple with dinner. And then, um, I made a pineapple date smoothie, but I didn't go by the recipe cause I didn't pick up enough stuff and you know, all that kind of stuff. So like, I think in the original recipe, it was like dates, pineapple with the core, um, coconut, almond milk, maybe even a little Greek yogurt, maybe. I can't remember. Anyway, I was working with what I had at that point. It was late at night. It was later at night than I wanted it to be. I was doing the best I could. I took my little Ninja smoothie maker and I put the pineapple core in there and I started chunking it up. Um, and then I forget, I think I put six dates in there and then I put milk and water and I made a smoothie out of that. And I tried to make it like as small and concentrated as possible. Cause I knew I was taking a lot of liquid on the belly. Um, and so basically I drank that smoothie as quickly as I could. Nothing was cold about it. So it was unpleasant. I would say if you're going to do any of this, you want to make sure that like that smoothie is cold, or at least for me, it needed to be cold and it wasn't, but I choked it down. And then I made my 20 ounces of tea and I drank it. And here's what I will tell you specifically last night, once I did like everything, the first night I noticed it was making her move a lot. You know, um, my concern was that she really wasn't moving as much or anything. But I'm telling you, I drank that tea and she was moving like crazy. And before anybody says anything about concern about the tea and whatever, it is not caffeinated. It's not caffeinated. So I did that. She moved. We had that. Um, and I felt rough afterwards. And I actually got very, very sick. But I've been getting very, very sick almost every night this week with or without the tea. Um, but it did seem to bring it about more and amplify it. So then um, last night I did the smoothie. I didn't feel sick after the smoothie. It just wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst either. Like I think if I would have had like the coconut and it would have been colder, it actually would have been really nice. Um, so it really wasn't that bad, but I just got it down as quick as I could. And then I started in on my tea. And as I said, like, I think I started this whole process, like after 10 o'clock last night, cause I hadn't had a shower for a while and I was trying to get a shower, all these different things, you know? And so, um, last night I actually finished the cup of tea the night before I didn't finish the cup of tea. Last night I finished the cup of tea and I'm telling you, after I drank the smoothie, this baby started getting very active, very, very active. Um, by the time I finished my tea, not only was she very, very active, I think she completely s switched positions. She's back into what she was before now. Um, but I mean, and I felt lousy. I, I felt like there's no way a person can feel this bad and not go into labor. There's just no way. Um, even my husband, he was convinced last night. He was like, we're, we got to go in tonight. Like you, this is terrible this is terrible. And I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. And I started cramping and like all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, you know, went to bed and then, um, was awake for a while in the middle of the night with my daughter. That was a whole, you know, it was a whole thing. Um, but then this morning, whenever I woke up, oh, my stomach hurt so bad. And when I say stomach hurt, I mean, I felt like it could potentially turn into like productive contractions. It was just like off feeling and my lower belly was just like so sore and tender and like all that kind of stuff. And I thought, well, maybe I'm dilating, you know, maybe that's happening. Um, th that pain ended up going away. I just felt very tired today, very crummy, very, very on the verge of labor. Um, but I hate to say that because, you know, I have no idea what's going on. Um, I ended up inadvertently falling asleep in the middle of the floor for a while um, unannounced to, to anyone, including myself. Um, I, it's just, I don't know. I've just felt really poorly all day and it just feels like, 
I don't know. It just feels like I just need to snap into it or out of it or whatever you want to say and like go into labor and just like, it just feels like my body is fighting. Honestly, it feels like it's fighting and it's exhausting. I'm going to be exhausted before I go into labor and it's a very bizarre, crazy feeling. And so tonight, you know, um, I ate dinner. I did eat fairly quickly, and I don't know if that was part of it or what, but I'm telling you, I'm moving very, very slowly. Um, there's just a lot of weight in my belly, a lot of pressure downstairs. I have very sore, tender, off-feeling, crampy belly. And I just, I don't really know how to describe how I'm feeling right now, but I just sat on the labor ball for a while and eventually I got on all fours on the labor ball and just was like, maybe let's get this baby in another position or something or, you know, whatever. And I laid down to get my daughter down for bed and like laying down made me feel a little bit better to even do this video. And so... You know, like earlier today, I did the pregnancy try on, the pre-pregnancy clothes try on video. And I just, uh, I'm just struggling. I'm struggling. And so, you know, I don't know. I did the best I could. And so um, what we're looking at now is tomorrow we have a birthday dinner to go to. And I don't want to go, honestly. I don't want to go. And it has nothing to do with who we're going for or the people that are there. And I'm not trying to be weird. The only reason I'm relatively okay about going is the restaurant we're going to is in the same town as the hospital that I will deliver at. Um, my fear is that I won't be able to fake it too well tomorrow because I just, I'm just not, I don't know if I'm not more energetic or better tomorrow, you know, I don't know. I just feel very crummy. And so we'll see how things are tomorrow. Um, I just, I can't hardly think about anything else. I just want to go into labor. And that's essentially right now, all I want to focus on is getting myself into labor and loving on my daughter and just like that, that's all I want to be doing. Um, not necessarily going to a birthday dinner, but apparently that's what I'm doing. And so that's what my schedule looks like. Tomorrow is what it is until tomorrow evening, a birthday dinner, and then come back home and do the, do, do the thing, do all the things, you know, whatever. Um, and then Monday, if I haven't gone, I'm going to do my last day of work. Um, and then Tuesday, that's it. Tuesday, um, I'll be off, I guess. I may look, try to log a few hours. I don't know what it's going to look like. And I'm just going to get myself ready and get everything situated, get my daughter settled in with my in-laws. Um, I guess I'm going to take them the new fish we got for my daughter's birthday. Somebody gave my daughter a fish. I have nobody lined up to feed this fish. And so we'll take my daughter and the fish, I guess, over to my in-laws. And then I'll take my puppy dog to my mom's house. Um, and then I don't know if my mom has figured out what her transportation is going to look like to the hospital or not. Um, I think she just needs to ride with us, but I understand it's intimidating being somewhere without transportation. I understand that. So, I mean, she could take our car, but anyway, you get it. You get what I'm saying. Like, it's it's understandable. Um, so, she has to make some decisions on how she wants to handle that portion of it. But then, Tuesday night, if I haven't gone on my own before then, um, it'll be me, my husband, and my mom up at the hospital having a baby or getting medication anyway. And so, that's where I'm at with things. I'm just, I'm so tired. Uh, my belly feels so sore and sensitive and I feel sickly and I just, I don't know. And so I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to still be like, I don't want to be crabby. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to come off any kind of way to anybody. I don't know. I just hope and pray that everybody has like a lot of um, understanding, I guess, with my position. And we'll go from there. Because like I said, I can't move very fast. I probably don't sit around with a very happy look on my face. I'm just miserable. I feel like, you know, I'm trying to decide whether I should pass out, puke on your shoes, or go into labor. And I can't decide, you know. 
I, at any more the way I'm feeling and thinking about it, I feel like going into labor is probably the last option. Is she's just not coming? I mean, I don't know. It's just absolutely amazing to me. My mom and my husband have both made the good point that, you know, I was put on progesterone to try to keep everything hard down there, um, to try to keep this baby in longer because the fear was that she was going to go before 36 weeks. While I did not follow the dosage well at all, and I was afraid that that would bite me in the butt, that I didn't follow the dosage well, I'm like, maybe I didn't need that at all and that's creating some of this problem, that's what they're saying. Um, and and it's, it's, not, it's not entirely impossible to me in my mind. So I don't know, I just know I'm nervous for having two babies. I'm, you know, a toddler and a baby, but they're babies to me. So I'm nervous for having two babies. I'm nervous for, you know, lifestyle change and like all that is intimidating, but I'm so excited to have another baby. I'm so excited to meet my daughter. And then on top of that, I just need her out. I like, I just need her out. My body, my, I don't think my body's built for, for, for full term. I, I'm not, I didn't, I definitely didn't want to deliver as early this time, but I think 37, 38 weeks would have been a good cutoff, you know, because this is, this is getting to be a lot, a little too much. So Anyway, that's the update. I have, like I said, I have another video I would like to do. Um, I thought about doing it tonight, but you know, I, you know, there's a ball game on right now and I'm feeling pretty lousy. That's why I'm rocking. And so I think I'm just going to go sit on the labor ball, do a little picking up, sit on the labor ball and, and just do labor stuff. Do all my acupressure, do my oils. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do pineapple and red raspberry leaf tea tonight I just kind of I don't know if that's a very good idea or not I'm not sure so that's it that's the update thank you so much for joining me thank you for following along again thank you all for your requests and everything I think that's so fun that people are sharing in my journey with me because I watch other people's videos and stuff you know but I, I as I said before I just do this to document myself my my for, for myself for my journey if you know should I try to do this again <laughs> I'm having some feelings about that right now <laughs> but you know um, I'm just documenting for myself but I think it's so fun and exciting that people are following along and and are interested and that you guys had requests and stuff like that I I'm just not as good with you know I'm not an influencer I don't have the lighting I don't have the backgrounds I I live where I live. The lighting is what it is, and I'm just going to be up front. I'm just that kind of person, so <laughs> anyway, but I do appreciate your request. Feel free to comment, um, share some of your own stories, things that help you helped you go into labor, anything like that. I'd love to read it, um, and so I guess I'll see you next time, whatever that may be. We're taking down the days. Thanks for joining. See you then. <laughs> Bye.